in life there has to be a spiritual circulation. So many people know people that we would call takers. They take and they take and they take and they'll take any good that comes their way and appear to give little thought to returning a portion of the good to others. You might say, well, I'm a spiritual person. I'm not a taker. I'm a giver. But again, even with a giver, there has to be a circulation. Those that are classified as givers, who give much, but often for reasons of their own, they're embarrassed at receiving. I was that way one time. I would offer a woman a ride to church where I was a minister. And she didn't have very much money. and She wanted to give me a dollar. And I kept saying, no, no, no. This is, this is my honor to do this for you. And she kept on offering week after week. And I kept refusing. And eventually that poor dear lady dropped out of my church never to return. Because her gift, she thought, wasn't good enough for me. I learned a lot from that, that I have to be open to receiving, and that is a tough thing for many ministers to do, because we like to, and as you like to, as a spiritual person, we like to give, but often we have trouble with receiving. There has to be a circulation of giving and taking, and then giving again, and then taking again. A safe guide to remember is that there is a little bit of that giver and taker in every person. When good things come our way, we must hasten to return some of it to others. And then we work hard on being neither a taker or a giver totally, but having that spiritual circulation. This is so very important to being an open channel through which God's good flows without blockage. God bless you, and God bless your week.